Hi and welcome to Area of a Triangle. Uh, before we get going today, I just want to remind you that there is a notes shotter available for this video. If you just check the description below, you'll find a download link for it so you can work along with me during this video. Okay, so we're going to start uh, just by looking at the um, square that's on the screen there. We've got a square with a, a width of 6 centimetres and a height of 6 centimetres. Now, if I were looking to find the area of the entire shape, I'd be looking for what's on the inside here. And we should know at this point that if we find the area of a square, we would multiply the width by the height. So we would do 6 times 6 equals 36. Now, just to go along with that, we should add also our units. Whenever we're talking about uh, area, we should be thinking about centimetres squared. Now, that is the area of the, rec uh, of the square. But if I were to just take out a little bit of this information... And if I were to remove this triangle, I have now just a triangle with a width of 6 centimetres and a height of 6 centimetres. Now, what did I do to the original rectangle? Well, that rectangle has been cut in half. Therefore, the area of the shaded triangle must be half of what we've just worked out. So, we would need to be thinking about 36 halved. Now, a halving is the same as dividing by 2. So, 36 divided by 2 is 18 centimetres squared. Now, this leads us to the one and most important piece of information we're going to look at today. The formula for the area of a triangle. And that is that the area of a triangle is a half times the base times the height. Okay, so we're going to look at three different examples of different types of triangles and just have a look at how we would find their areas. Now, the first one is a right angled triangle and you'll notice that from the fact there is a little uh, square in the corner of the, uh, of the triangle. Now, we've got the formula at the bottom, area of a triangle equals a half times base times height. So in this case, we just need to check what those two uh, values are. So... We've got a half times the base. So the base is going to be here at the bottom, which is 8, and times the height, which is going to be the other value, 3. Now, because we are multiplying three numbers together here, um, multiplication can actually happen in any order. So it's up to you which parts you multiply first. Generally, though, we'll multiply the base and the height first, and then half the answer. So 8 times 3 is 24 and a half times 24 means a half of 24 so we just need half that answer and we will get 12. Now again we start with centimetres in our lengths and so our area will be centimetres squared. When we look at the second triangle, we've actually uh, got an isosceles triangle. And again, you'll notice that um, a right angle has been marked on the, the triangle. Now, the reason for that is that we always need to be dealing with the perpendicular height of the shape. So when we're talking about height, we're talking about from the base at a right angle going straight up. So in this case, we have a half times the base. So there it is. 7 and times the height, the perpendicular height, in this case 6. Now again, if we look at multiplying the base by the height to start with, we have 7 times 6 and 7 times 6 is 42. So we've got a half times 42. We are looking at a half of 42. So we've got 21. Now again, the original lengths were in centimetres, so our area should be in centimetres squared. 
Finally, we have a scalene triangle. Now in this case, the height is actually marked outside of the diagram and that's because um, we need to make sure that we are going from the very bottom of the shape to the very top. But again, we are dealing with that perpendicular height, the height at a right angle to the base. And so we begin with the same information. It's a half times the base, which is five, times the height, which is also five. And this time we'll do our multiplication. Five times five is 25. And we're going to have a half times 25. A half of 25. Now this one's a little bit more tricky. It is going to end up with a decimal. A half of 25 is actually 12.5 centimetres squared. Now the next set of examples I've given you here, um, these are all to show the different types of trick that you might see within a question about um, find the area of a triangle. Um, different things that pe uh, people often make mistakes with because they haven't quite noticed all of the key areas to the question. But each of them needs to begin with the formula of area of a triangle equals a half times base times height. But it's all to do with identifying all of the key information. So in the first question, we have a right angle triangle with sides of three, four and five centimetres. Now, the important part here is if we're going to find the area, we want a half times the base times the height. So where is the base? The base is here at four centimetres. Where is the height? Well, the height is always at a right angle to the base, and so it must be the three. The trick that has been played in this question is that we were given an extra piece of information. Just because we've got three values, we don't always need to use them. So, in this case, we'll go through the same method as we did before. We'll multiply the base by the height. So four times three is 12, and it's a half times 12 so our area is going to be six centimeters squared the second question um, looks a little bit different to what we've seen before but we do still have that right angle in there and we've got some values now the problem with this question is where is the base we're used to seeing the base along the bottom but that's not always the case. Um, base is a bit of a strange word for it, but it basically means the side which is at the right angle to the height. And so this shape has actually been turned on its side. And so in this case, the base is going to be the 12 centimetres. The height is actually going to be the 10. Now, Again, same method as we've used for every other question. 12 times 10 is 120, and we want half of that value, and therefore we have 60 centimetres squared. In the third example, what we have here, it looks much like the ones we had before, but there is one big difference, and that is this length is centimetres, this length is millimetres. So the first thing we're going to have to do is actually decide are we going to use millimetres throughout the question or are we going to use centimetres. Now for me the easiest version would be to convert millimetres into centimetres. If I have 40 millimetres there are 10 millimetres to 1 centimetre therefore 40 millimetres is actually the same as four centimeters. Now we can deal with this in just the same way as we did before. We have a half times the base, which is six, times the height, which is four. And so we have six times four is 24. A half times 24, final answer of 12 centimeters squared. Okay, and we've now come to the exam question. This came from the Edexcel paper in May 2017, Foundation Paper 1. 
And with this question, we're dealing with a triangle and a rectangle. So we need to be thinking about the area of both of them. Um, we're told that the area of the rectangle is six times the area of the triangle. Work out the width of the rectangle. Now straight away, what we can see here is we have a right angle triangle and we're talking about area. So the first thing I want to do is find the area of that triangle. And so the triangle is going to have a base of eight, a height of nine. And so with our formula that we've been using throughout this video, we're going to have a half times the base times the height. Now eight times nine is 72. So we are looking for a half of 72. A half of 72 is 36 centimetres squared. Now we need to have a look carefully at what the question was telling us. It told us that the area of the rectangle is six times the area of the triangle. So this rectangle must actually have an area six times bigger than 36. So we're going to have to work out six times 36. And so, depending on what method you would usually use for multiplying, I'm going to use the grid method. It's six times 36. Six times three is 18, with a zero on the end. Six times six is 36. And so in total, that is 216. So the area of this rectangle must be 216 centimeters squared. Now, the trick. Um, if the area is 216 and we know what one of the lengths is, what we're basically saying here is that 16 times something equals 216. How are we going to work that out? Well, we're going to have to reverse the operations. We're going to have to do a division. So we're going to divide 216 by 16. Now, I've written this as a fraction because one of the things we can do to make this a little bit easier to begin with is actually to simplify that fraction. Now, it's 216 divided by 16. So what we can say is, what number goes into both? Well, I can see straight away that they're both even. So we can divide by two. Half of 216 is 108. Half of 16 is eight. Now again, both of those numbers can be divided by two. They're both even. So let's do that. 108, if I half that, it is 54. And if I half 8, that is 4. And still, both of those numbers are even, so we can go again if we really want to. We've got 27 over 2. And what that means is, I'm now looking for 27 divided by 2. If I use a bus stop, how many 2s go into 27? Well, that is one. How many twos go into seven? It is three, but we have a bit left over. We still have a remainder of one. So I'm going to add now point zero with my remainder of one. How many twos now go into 10? It is five. And so if we take it back to the top, we were looking for the width of that rectangle, well, the rectangle must have a width of 13.5 centimetres.